Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, we're getting ready for Halloween. No, it has nothing to do with what I'm honoring Congress and what's going on. Yes, at Congress? Oh. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. I know, and it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah, Should this morning. Th this morning, Boehner declared surrender, unconditional surrender to the Democrats, saying what? that. What? Well, he said that it's too important, you know, the, the, the debt issue and defaulting to uh, put it, uh, uh, you know, to, to put it uh, below politics. And then mm -hmm. he tried to set conditions. He'd already surrendered. And the Senate and the House, the other people are saying that, you know, that it's ridiculous. And here's what it all comes down to. The Democrats and the Republicans on both sides refuse to take Obamacare. They will not join the health care <coughs> system, and the government is paying fees for them not to have to join the system. And because they won't join it, there's some of the Republicans in the Senate now have, that were going along with their so-called grand bargain said, that's fair. Mm -hmm. You don't, we, we either accept Obamacare for our health care system or we don't, or we kill it for everybody. And the Democrats have said no, because they're not about to accept that thing, period. And Republicans still continue to be blamed for doing their job as spelled out in the Constitution. Yeah. How dare the Republicans, you know, say where money can and cannot, well the Constitution basically says they control the purse strings. They decide where the money goes. The president doesn't decide, and the Senate doesn't decide. The House, that is the job of the House of Representatives, is to decide where money is allocated, and the president and Democrats do not like that. But don't worry, they're out is the 14th Amendment, which will allow them to uh, supersede anything the House does and declare budget limits as unconstitutional and to spend as much money as they want with no checks on it from now on. And thieves target another Henry Moore sculpture. Okay, you know that people put these great big god awful sculptures in front in their front lawns and stuff. It is backing up to people's lawns when there's nobody there and stealing them now. Oh, they are. Yeah, those things weigh. Well, I know, but you just come. Part in. of it is they can just grab it because they are expensive, but they're just sitting there. It, it would, if it's brought in by a truck, it can be taken out by a truck very quickly. It can be done because it's not like they bolt them into the ground; they mm -hmm. set them on top of a because they're so heavy. Concrete. Yep. Yep. Well, and you don't want to damage the piece of art. Yeah, but the people that are, uh, you know, it, 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 you just bring in yourself a crane on the back of a truck, lift it up, put it on the thing, and then you're gone. And it's like they said they did it like in about 60 seconds. Oh that was how God. fast because they're not fastened in. Hey, it's, actually it's easier than a museum theft. Yeah, it's more more profitable because those things can be sold to anybody that, that's got some, you know, got a great big area that, you know, like a backyard no one ever gets into, they mm -hmm. just sell it to them. And education bigwig abandons common core town halls after parents try to have their say. I know, that's Flea Obama. That's Democrats and believing in freedom of speech. If you dare stand up to the president and his idea of education, then you don't get to speak and you get thrown in jail cells. They're, they're actually jailing people that basically don't like the, uh, you know, they're being denied the right of speech on a, on things that they are supposed to have control of under the law, and then they're, they're jailing them for it. And the government has until October 17th um, to, to risk default. I, I know. It's basically extremist, Republican extremists in the Tea Party. Uh, you know what the Republican extremists in the Tea Party want? I just said, they want the people to take Obamacare. Oh. That's, the, that's the extreme position now. You take Obamacare. And they're not about to take Obamacare. They don't want it. Report, George W. Bush's heart condition was potentially life-threatening. Okay, there is a difference between potentially and was. He had, a, he had an artery that was clogged from, you know, uh, and a lot of people have clogged arteries anymore. That's, that's because they eat wrong and do everything wrong. Hot and angry, yes, climate change could increase conflict. Oh, I know, it's, uh, you know. I love it that that it, it, it just, we're responsible for everything on climate change anymore. <laughs> okay, here the trick is the weather is crappy all over the mm -hmm. world. It has nothing to do with global warming. It's got to do with that. Looks like we're going into another ice age, folks. And Rome vows to block funeral of convicted war criminal uh, Prebke. I know it's ridiculous. They won't let a guy be buried in his home. What? Oh, I mean, it, 
just because he's a war criminal. First of all, the Catholic, the church, Catholic Church cannot deny burial to any of any individual that asked for forgiveness before they died. He did. They have to bury him, folks. And unions say only Hail Mary can stop the Bay Area transit strike. Well, yeah, this is a good place. This is San Francisco is a hotbed of the Democratic Party, and they're refusing to knuckle into demands for wage increases. They don't have the money to. Okay, you have basically raised all the taxes you can raise in San Francisco, and you're not going to get the wage increases anymore. And NSA chief admits a test in U.S. cell phone tracking. Oh God! They they even got they caught them. They they admitted it only because they were forced to. And then this morning they had to admit. Well, yes. <laughs> We have inadvertently uh, taken tens of millions of America's addresses books from their computers, but it was an accident and it's not intended to be used, then why don't they destroy the information? They're not doing it. Tens of millions of people's addresses books they inadvertently took. You don't inadvertently take anything. Switzerland to vote on $2,800 monthly basic income for adults. Well, yeah, Switzerland, basically, Switzerland has a referendum system of government where the people, you know, you go to their town halls and they decide how things should be. The problem is, is that the, the, what they're wanting is basically accumulative. When you start out here, it increases it all along the method. Their minimum wage is far less than, uh, far, it's half of what they're talking. So they have to double the salaries of everyone up the line. Nestle's has said they're going to leave their home country because they can't afford to double the salaries of their employees. Yeah, yeah. They don't make that kind of money. And almost every business that has a corporate headquarters there are plant. The Swiss watch companies are getting ready to leave because of their bastards. And Merkel set for third round of coalition talks with Social Democrats. Yeah. Okay. Because she can't. She okay. Here's the thing: is they have a they have a parliamentary style of government. And she lost the election, and yet she somehow won the presidency of the country, and, it, it, and it's impossible. So now, in order to stay president, she has to form a coalition to nominate her for the position she should have never been able to win to begin with. Uh, yeah. It's crazy. School tells cop not to wear a uniform to pick up his own kids. I know. Isn't that something? Well, because it could be frightening to people because he carries a gun, and we can't allow that in the buildings. This is why people, kids are getting killed in buildings because they're not allowing officers to carry weapons. Well, you know, on duty. first of all, and then they're telling people not to wear. I mean, oh, NFL is the NFL has banned hand police officers from bringing handguns into city-owned arenas, and the cities are saying you can't do that because by by law. The officers are required to wear their They're handguns to... at all time, and that, so and they said uh, so. What happened is there's no accommodations because the NFL is ran by left-wing Democrats. They're pushing the Obama agenda, and basically. So, so what happens? They have no security then. Uh, no, they said we have security officers in here, and they don't know. You know, okay. First of all, you're not supposed to go shoot somebody because he's carrying a gun. And, I, and second of all, I heard one of the guys from, the, from Chicago said he'd never seen one of their security officers ever remove a He said, I would bet that the, the guns have been in their holsters so long they're, they're, they're rusted really to the holsters. Yeah. They don't take their guns out for any reason because they might have to use them. Um, calls for Redskins name change grow louder. Yeah, among Democrats. Bob DeCostas, you know, he basically condemned the Redskins. And uh, I love it. The guy that owns the Redskins said, I think Mr. DeCosta's name is offensive. I want him to change his name because I consider it offensive. And he said, you know, I bet you I can get more than 100 people that signed that petition from that Indian tribe that said the name Bob Costas is offensive. You think that Mr. Costas will change his name? He said, not a chance in hell. That He called him a little mealy-mouthed Democratic wimp. Oh my gosh. But well, he basically opened his mouth on an editorial mm -hmm. again, and he's in trouble with the NBC network for putting his political view. This isn't the way it's supposed to work. He's a sports commentator, not a political commentator. Yeah. And he made a political comment. And a Monty Bubbles in front of Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, I, okay, this was another good one. He said that, um, that if, you, uh, if you surrender unconditionally, you can't make demands after you surrendered. 